I'm here at the All England Show Jumping course at Hickstead to watch the international show jumping. allowed to do the course walks, so we're allowed to look at all the jumps really close up, which is awesome. Like they're bigger huge. than us, so it's really exciting looking at all of them. So you can kind of see how wide this jump is. It's massive. So this course has been ridden round, I think, for 58 years now, and over those years, only 60 people have ever gone clear on this course. So it is very technical and very difficult. <laughs> outside and then this is where you must put all your tack and everything oh my gosh it's so beautiful for like a numerous amount of saddles bridle hooks it's got everything <laughs> look at all the overreach boots <laughs> Your name, what's I'm your name? Who am I here with? Erin. I'm Bing. <laughs> oh, I'm Indy. <laughs> so we're just here in the stands at the moment at Hickstead. It's really nice to meet you guys. You too. <laughs> Now, 
talking and talking to the walls, thinking someone's here. Creating, creating fantasies, no one's gonna hear. Don't wanna go to sleep, I have so much to say. I'm in and out and back again, will it always be this way? No one's gonna hear Just to be somebody Who can say I got it So I ever wanna Do it like they do Just to be somebody Who can say I got it So I ever wanna Do it like they do Just to be somebody Talking to the walls, thinking someone's here Creating, creating fantasies, no one's gonna hear I try to keep the faith, and slowly count to ten It's a worry about the dumb mistakes, I'll probably make again No one's gonna hear Just to be somebody Who can say I got it So I ever wanna Do it like they do Just to be somebody Who can say I got it So I ever wanna Do it like they do Just to be somebody I hope you enjoyed today's vlog at Hickstead. I had such a great time and the horses and riders there were absolutely incredible. So usually I know when I go to a big event like this I do a tackle and as I didn't get that much stuff I thought I would just put it in at the end of the video now. So the first thing I bought were a pair of breeches and these are from the Lemure collection because they've recently come out with a new rider range so I was really intrigued to see what they were like because I've bought products from Lemure slash Horse Health before and I've always been really impressed with the quality. So I thought I'd give these a go. So these are in the colour pewter slash grey and as you might know I quite like the colour grey. It just goes with everything and I think it's such a pretty colour. And hopefully I think these will match my grey saddle pad so that is brilliant. I also absolutely love the detailing on them and the white stitching. As well they also have the brilliant sticky knee patches and a sock bottom so they're really easy to get on and off. And one thing I really like about them is they have pockets everywhere. They have two pockets at the front and two pockets at the back, which is brilliant. <laughs> and of course, because I was in horse health, I had to pick up another saddle pad. So this is in the corn blue colour. And I have wanted to get this colour for quite a while, just because blues look so nice on greys. So this will look so pretty on Casper. As you might know, I love the quality of these saddle pads. There's not too much for me to say about it, apart from I just love this colour. Also, I don't know if you've noticed, but I actually have a top that I'm wearing now that matches. Like, yeah. Also, if anybody is wondering, my top's from Primark. So I literally have a really cheap t-shirt on and then a very nice <laughs> saddle pad to match. It's always the way I spend more money on my horses than I do on myself. <laughs> So I thought that they were just going to be my two purchases for the day. I wasn't going to get, like, I wasn't planning on getting, like, anything really. But I walked, literally, as I walked out of the horse health stand, I came across these. Now, these breeches I saw, and they're, one, they're a really pretty colour. And when, and when I put it up next to the saddle pad, that is like a pretty good match like corn blue is quite a difficult color to match things with 
So I was really excited when I saw these. So I felt kind of bad because I'd literally just bought the grey breeches. But the thing is, I never have enough breeches. Like, I, there will always be a pair in the wash. There'll be a pair that's dirty. There'll be a pair I'm wearing. And I just, like, t-shirts I'm fine with. But breeches, I just never seem to, like, have enough. So I bought these blue ones. So I, was, I looked at them and I was like, if they fit well, then I kind of have to get them. Because... I don't know if anybody else finds this, but the shape of my body literally does not fit into like barely any breeches or jodhpurs. And also I find it really difficult to actually fit into breeches. Like they're either too short, too long, the waist is too baggy, the waist is too tight. And it's just, I, ne I can never find a pair that properly like really fits me. I also have the same problem with jeans, like new look jeans are the only jeans that like fit me properly. So I was like, if they don't fit me then I won't get them, but I tried them on and they fit like a glove. Also again, they have really nice roomy pockets so I can hopefully get my phone in there. Again, they have the really cute white piping slash detailing going along here. And again, they have the lovely sticky knee patches. Oh, that wasn't a very good, nice noise. And also the sock bottom. So it was literally all the good things you want when finding a pair of breeches. So I decided to buy them. If you're wondering where they're from, I haven't actually heard of the company before. It says show riders here. So some of you might have known it was my birthday a couple of weeks ago. I turned 17, whoop whoop, so I can finally like drive on the roads in the UK, so that's quite exciting. But anyway, I usually don't get anything horsey for my birthday from my friends or family, just because I pay for everything myself. And I feel like when you buy horsey things, like none of my family are equestrians, they don't know what things are for and stuff like that. So, so I usually buy everything horsey for myself, so I wasn't expecting to get anything horsey for my birthday. However, my friend Scarlett very kindly got me a few bits. So she very kindly got me this ear bonnet in black and it has really, really cute silver piping around the outside with a little diamante trim. And it'll, because black's quite a plain color, it is quite nice that it's got a little bit of detailing on. So I think Casper will look super cute in this. And the other thing she bought me were these really funky socks and they have pineapples on, which I absolutely love. Plus, it matches the corn blue. So thank you so much, Scarlet, for this stuff for my birthday. <laughs> and the last thing, <laughs> again, I really wasn't expecting like much for my birthday or anything like that, but my grandparents very kindly got me a gift voucher for my local tax shop. So I decided to get Casper a new bridle. Now I've been thinking about getting Casper a new bridle for a while because the one he currently has I have had for as long as him, so four and a half years now, which is quite a long time. And it's starting to get a bit worn in places and the last thing you want is your bridle to break when you're riding and I don't actually have a spare bridle. So I thought I would get him a nice new one. So this is the Micklem bridle, it's the competition one. It's also fancy stitch, so it has this really pretty detailing on the brow band and the nose band. And that will also look really nice with him being a grey. So the reason why I decided to go for the Micklem is because some of you might have known last year I tried Scarlet's to see if Casper was any different in it because I did a bit of research about them and everything. But Casper is a really chilled horse. You can change up his tack and everything and he'll literally ride pretty much the same. So I did try it for a while. However, some people are like, my horse is like a different horse when I ride in a Micklem. Casper... Is pretty much the same. I just find it fits Casper really well and I kind of needed a new bridle anyway. So this bridle I'm going to be using when I'm training and competing and my old bridle is now bitless. I've ridden in it like a few times before and as I've said Casper is very chilled. Having his tack changed he's like he's like pretty much the same horse as in this as he is in a bit 
but I understand that not all horses are like that and he wouldn't have been like that when I first got him. So obviously this isn't going to be my main bridle, it's going to be my bridle that I'm going to use when I take Casper to the beach, when I take him on hacks or trail rides, just like when we're having fun, that's what I'm going to use him bitless for. But obviously when I'm riding at show jumping clinics or when I'm competing he'll be riding in his like normal bridle. So as you can see I just have it on the lowest set so it's less strong just because again Casper is very chills and the reins I like to use are the ones with the stoppers not because I lose my reins but because in the UK it rains a lot and if you're riding in the wet it is not very fun when you're going quite fast and your hands are slippery so that's why I like to have the stoppers. Also when I'm doing cross country, I know you have to slip your reins through your hands, but I'm all right with doing that with the stoppers. So I hope you all enjoy this little mini tackle at the end of the vlog and I'll see you all next time. Bye.